Hello, I've been here. In this video, I want to show you the latest updates I've done to Quick.NVim, the NeoVim configuration I've been using for um, uh, a few years now. Uh, so the big uh, change in this update is I've moved away from COC for uh, auto-completion and IntelliSense, and I'm now using uh, native LSP features for um, auto-completion, diagnostics, formatting, linting, etc. So let's go through what's uh, changed. Um, the basics are more or less the same. I've done a few uh, changes to this, but uh, nothing significant really. Uh, for mappings, I've added uh, two new commands, which are leader J and leader K for jumping between quick fix uh, results super easily. Um, I have also made sure to use uh, proper Lua formatting for this entire file. So we have uh, four space tabs um, and uh, um, it's also now using uh, lazy.nm for uh, its plugin manager. And I've added three new tpope plugins for interacting with uh, uh, Git and GitHub, as well as automatic uh, indentation. Um, so depending on what file you're in and the programming language and the configuration, it's gonna automatically detect that and set the, the tab width automatically. And for Vim Fugitive and Vim Rhubarb, one really cool thing you can do is you can actually go directly, directly from NeoVim um, to GitHub like that, and I can copy a link, for example, and send it to our colleague, which is super neat. Um, I've also added NeoVim EQF for better quick fix list. Um, and the quick fix list is a feature that lets you put multiple items into a list that you can then go through. So what I use it for is uh, mostly like search and replace or diagnostics or go to definition or go to references. So if I go into a project here and I go to a React component, I can type go to references and it's going to open up a quick fix list with all the places that this component is used. And what NeoVim BQF does is it adds this preview window here, as we can see, and uh, adds some other uh, shortcuts. So if we want to open it in a split view, we can do that with Control V. It's uh, very nice. Okay, so now we come to the plugins that uh, basically replace uh, coc.nvim. We have uh, NeoVim uh, 3 sitter auto tag. Um, this is a feature for basically automatically closing um, JSX tags or HTML tags. Um, it's a very simple plugin, that's all it does. It's not perfect. It does have some issues. For example, we have components with a dot inside of them, and uh, it does also complete it, but when you start hitting enter, it all gets very weird. Um, hopefully that will get improved though. Uh, Comment.nvim is not a new plugin, it's simply for formatting code. Um, 
and here we come to the new plugins. Uh, we have Neovim LSP config, we have Mason, and the connector between Mason and LSP config, which is Mason LSP, LSP config. Uh, which basically, Mason allows me to install language servers uh, directly from within Neovim, which is super, super useful. Um, it took quite a long time for me to understand how this works, but all Mason does it is instead of you having to install like the TypeScript language server in your uh, terminal and like handling versions, you can simply do this uh, from within Mason. So you can see here I have TypeScript language server, language server, and if I want to have a language server for basically any other language, um, maybe Rust, I can just go here, hit I, and it's going to install this uh, language server. And there are also, if you want to do debugging, they have uh, uh, packages for that, as well for uh, linting and formatting. So I have Stylo and Prettier uh, daemon installed, and I'm also going to install um, ESLint. Uh, but this is super, super useful. Um, then for auto-completion, I use Neovim Comp. And uh, for that, you also need like a snippet engine. Um, and there you can also, of course, install uh, packages for different sources. So, for example, the CMP buffer source allows you to get uh, completions uh, depending on what you've previously written in your buffer. So since I've written buffer here before, I can now get suggested. Uh, or since I've written dependencies before, I get suggested dependencies, uh, which is good. And there are some other sources here. Telescope, nothing new really. I've moved the uh, uh, mappings to this keys, uh, keys uh, object or uh, list here in the lazy vim uh, config. And I've also moved plenary as a dependency to telescope. Um, and uh, yeah, here we can see I used the auto tag uh, in the three sitter configuration. Color scheme is the same. Nivim surround is the same. And then I use conform.nvim for formatting. So let's say I do something like this. I can either just save the file and it's gonna auto format it, or I can do leader f. And this. I have this set up so it works both in uh, TypeScript and uh, well, both in TypeScript and in Lua. But uh, here you can basically specify um, depending on, on like what uh, languages you write in, you can just change this and then you can install um, your own uh, formatter through a Mason. Um, I'm going to delete the Rust analyzer because I don't need it. Um, I have uh, NVIM auto pairs. Uh, this also replaces a feature in uh, uh, COC. This basically just completes tags inside of uh, Neovim, um, which is super useful. I've also added uh, the git science plugin, uh, which basically adds um, these uh, indicators in the status column. Uh, and then you can also like uh, preview what's uh, changed and you can stage different hunks and you can do a lot of stuff with uh, 
they did science plugin. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, here I set up Mason and uh, the LSP and NVM Trump. I don't have a lot of mappings. Here you can see the sources, Lua Snip, NVM LSP, and Buffer. Here you can also install like a path source if you want to, but I haven't had the, the need for that really. Um, so yeah, I mean, and this is still quite fast, I believe. You can run a laser profile. Yeah, it's around 75 milliseconds, um, which is uh, quite fast. Uh, I would like it to be even faster, but um, I believe one way you can make uh, the startup time faster is by separating the plugins into multiple files. Uh, but I I really like just having everything in one file. This is uh, 340 lines of code with comments um, for my entire editor. Uh, with the configuration of my editor and uh, yeah I think that's a big plus um, so yeah I do a lot of uh, web development with the react typescript tailwind xjs um, and this works uh, flawlessly with this configuration um, for me, it took a long time to actually switch to native LSP because every time I attempted to switch, I just came to the same conclusion, which was that the native LSP was more clunky or it was slower or harder to set up than COC. But I feel like now it's uh, actually very suitable for, uh, for this. So now we can go to definition. Um, we can uh, go to references. We have uh, uh, auto completion. We have uh, uh, diagnostics. We have mappings for going to diagnostics. Um, we can rename uh, things. And it's going to rename throughout all of the files. Uh, auto imports, yeah, oh, everything that COC uh, had before uh, is now in uh, uh, native LSP, which is uh, super nice. So, yeah, that's all for me today. I hope you will like the latest update of Crypto uh, And if you don't want to use the latest feature, you can simply download. Uh, version 1.0.7, which is the last release that uses COC. Uh, version 2 is uh, with the native new MLSP. So, yeah, that's all for me today.